Education experts say young students who have a rich vocabulary also learn to read more easily and comprehend their reading better. The vocabulary enriching animated program Martha Speaks airs on PBS stations across the country and it's also playing in a school near you. The Martha Speaks Reading Buddies program for younger students incorporates vocabulary lessons with videos plus social interactions with older students. A steak! Pleasant! Gah! Dropped on the ground! Really, really pleasant. First graders at Northern Adirondack Elementary School can learn some choice words from a talking dog. Hey, Bob! You big bully, leave her alone! You know, there are words for dogs like you. Ruffian, thug, meanie! Class starts with first grade teacher Leslie Thayer conducting a lesson about the target words. All right, we have the words bully, compliment, pleasant, and unpleasant. Who can tell me what unpleasant is? Brittany? Right, it's not good. It's something that we don't like, that we don't like. Then the teacher screens a 15-minute Martha Speaks video for the students. The video reinforces the target words with humor and colorful characters. I taught the bird how to talk. I taught it how to talk. Oh, brother. <laughs> when the kids are watching it, they always giggle. I mean, it makes us giggle as well. I like the part when the parents say, oh, brother. I like that the students are introduced to vocabulary words that maybe they don't necessarily maybe hear at home or on an everyday basis, and that it's a fun way for them to hear the word. It's used in the show, so it's entertaining. Trust me, when Bob sees this, he's going to be one pleasant puppy. Uh-oh. <laughs> After the video, each first grader is paired with a fifth grader. Together, they read questions to invite discussion and to parrot those vocabulary words once again. Oh, brother! What might a bully do on the playground? What would a bully do on the playground? Push you. Okay. I like that I, I could read questions to them and they could answer them and I help them answer. The big buddy acting as a teacher allows them to use what they know and it reinforces what they know when they're teaching it to somebody else. And I think for the little buddy, it's someone else teaching them something new and maybe at a level that they understand. I think maybe kids speak to each other um, in kid language, which is good, so it makes them understand the vocabulary better. What is a pleasant thing to do on a weekend? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe clean your room? We got to ask them questions and they, if they had an answer, they could answer it. And sometimes I helped her answer it too. I'll pick this one. What could you do if a bully started teasing your friend? Um, kid, go tell a teacher. Yeah, or tell them please stop. Okay, your turn. I think it's very good for them to be able to communicate with a partner and express themselves and use, use the vocabulary. You get to help them learn stuff that they didn't know, like the definitions of some words that they probably haven't heard before. Then it's story time. Teachers say positive experiences with reading helps create hungry bookworms. Jamaica, Mrs. Worth said, could you please share your markers with Russell? He doesn't have any. The fifth graders read a book to their younger buddies. The story contains some of those target vocabulary words. This activity not only benefits the first grader, but the fifth grader as well. Fifth grade teacher Marcy Purrier says it helps the older student gain fluency in English. For fluency, you have to know what all the words are, so then you can begin to add expression um, and speaking and phrasing and reading like you're actually talking with the book. And when they read it to the first graders, you know, they get to add the inflections and they get to practice and they just, it gives them confidence as well. Russell, stop! Jamaica shouted, but Russell scribbled all over Jamaica's yellow leaf tree. I enjoyed reading to them and because it makes me feel happy to read to them so they can enjoy the book. The lesson concludes with a writing exercise. The older students and the younger students say they enjoy spending time with each other. Because they're nice. It's like they're my little sister or something. All the students did great work. And the young ones did learn the vocabulary words. Bully. It means that you're mean and angry. Someone that, that 
hurts your feelings? Pleasant. Being nice. Something good that happens. Unpleasant. When someone's being mean. Getting a bath after getting sprayed by a skunk. Really unpleasant. Compliment. When you tell someone something really good. PBS stations give books, activity sheets, and other resources to participating schools. Spotlight is a production of Mountain Lake PBS. To learn more about our programs, log on to mountainlake.org.